Good morning. I'm Andy Myers at Weiss Research. I'm Jen Amos, and this is your Morning Market Alert for Friday, August 26th. U.S. stock futures are treading water as investors seem reluctant to take new positions ahead of Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke's long-awaited speech this morning. He'll be addressing the annual gathering of international central bankers and economists in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. At last year's event, Bernanke laid the groundwork for the Fed's second round of quantitative easing, which kicked off a 28 percent surge in the S&P 500 index. During the lead-up to today's event, some traders had predicted he would signal a willingness to embark on QE3. But now, those expectations seem to be fading. Analysts point out that he'll be speaking just for himself, rather than the Federal Open Market Committee. So he's unlikely to commit to a major policy decision. The anticipation of Bernanke's speech has dominated trading this week. Monday through Wednesday, stocks rebounded from a four-week rout on hopes that the Fed chief would signal action to prop up the economy and the markets. But as those hopes diminished yesterday, we saw some steep losses. However, the S&P 500 is still up 3% on the week. Ahead of the speech, the dollar is moving lower against its major rivals. That indicates that some traders still believe Bernanke may signal a third round of quantitative easing. QE effectively increases the money supply, which of course reduces the value of the dollar. That's another argument against QE3, because economists say that the recent weakness in the economy is due to structural issues like foreclosed properties and an unskilled pool of unemployed labor, which are immune from monetary policy stimulus. Meanwhile, as the dollar declines, gold is rebounding from some recent weakness, once again approaching $1,800 an ounce. The biggest name on today's earnings calendar is Tiffany & Company. The luxury jeweler topped expectations with its second quarter sales and earnings. The company was able to absorb rising costs for precious metals and gemstones while improving margins and revenue growth. Tiffany also lifted its outlook for the full year, and the stock is jumping more than 5% in the pre-market. Another big winner this morning is Pandora Media, up nearly 8% right now. It reported a loss of $1.8 million in the latest quarter, but excluding one-time items, it would have beaten estimates. The streaming music service also forecast rapid revenue growth for the rest of the year. Krispy Kreme Donuts is also set to open higher, up about 3% ahead of the bell. Its second quarter profit quadrupled from a year ago, and sales topped expectations. But on the other side of the spectrum, we have Omnivision Technologies, which makes image sensor chips and devices. It's tumbling more than 20% after issuing a weak forecast for the current quarter. We're also watching for any reaction to this morning's big economic report. The Commerce Department is just out with its preliminary estimate of second quarter GDP. Ahead of the report, economists had been expecting the number to be revised down from the advanced 1.3% reading. We'll bring you all that data and any market reaction after the opening bell. For now, that's the latest from Weiss Research.